getting awfully close, and Julie Dunn in studio with us to talk about it. Julie, looking forward to it. Haven't had it in the spring since 2019. Had it in 2022 in the fall, but I just think it works better in the spring. Spring is such a great time to really have this fair. It really is all about getting out, um, getting involved, staying involved. You know, it's it, the living fair. And I always love that word because it really is all about living and connecting with some of those great businesses. Of course, our Mercy One folks are going to be there. Our lab services is going to be there. So it'll be a perfect day to come out. We're starting an hour earlier at 8 o'clock. So um, I think it's all, all shaping up really well. It really is. We've got a good number of vendors. Again, you've got outstanding informational booths, health screenings. Now, we have on our website, krosradio.com, what the screenings are, cost involved with some of them, fasting involved with some of them. That's why we moved it up to 8 a.m. Yes. to help those folks out a little bit. But uh, what are some of the booths that uh, Mercy One's going to be providing? So we'll have our home medical equipment um, folks there, and they will bring some of the supplies that they offer in their store. Their store is now located on Springdale at the North Health Plaza, so they moved from the South Campus here last year. But they'll have some of their um, devices that you can install in your house um, and use as you age to help you stay in your house. Um, so they will be there right away at 8 o'clock. Our volunteers and our foundation folks are going to be there. So we'll have some information on how you can volunteer for the hospital. If you don't like sitting at home, you want to do something, connect with other people. We've got a lot of great opportunities for volunteers. Our medical group is going to be there. So Andrea Barnett um, will have some information about some of the different providers who are accepting patients. Um, if you've lost a provider recently, you can come and talk to her. Um, some of our providers may even be there if they uh, have that opportunity there. Um, therapy services, so uh, physical therapy, o occupational therapy, and speech will be represented then. Home care and hospice, this is just such a great service that we offer um, mm -hmm. among our whole region. And we'll have those uh, folks there too. Radiation oncology, our cancer treatment then, that's located right there at the front of the hospital on 4th Street. Um, Darla Olson, many people know her on the team. She'll be there then providing information about what radiation oncology does. Um, we will also have Mercy One Medicare Advantage there. Um, we work with these people. They, are, um, they offer a great service as far as different Medicare option plans. And then, of course, our lab is going to be there then, too. So at mm -hmm. least from 8 till about 10.30. Usually when it dies down, we do allow them to go back and, <laughs> and take on their normal jobs. <laughs> uh, again, it's such a great thing that we are able to partner with Mercy One for this. And, and the, the number of vendors that we have out there giving people an opportunity. Plus, Deanna's Java Station is going to be there for the first time. We've got the Clintones are back, so they're going to be entertaining at around 11.30. And everybody always talks about the weather, and Andrew Stutsky from Channel 8 is going to be there as well. Yeah, that'll be a nice addition, too. I think every year, I feel like it always gets better, you know, and we have some great conversations with the people that come around to our booths, and I know that they appreciate all the, the different vendors and the services that we've been able to offer with the fair. This year, having uh, Deanna's come, what a great addition, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, be able to drop off your medications, your onions use medications, get them out of the house. There's going to be that service there as well. Um, it really is a terrific fair, and every year gets better. We're praying for some really good weather this year so that we can um, bring people out and, and really get, you know, we're done with winter, so come on out and enjoy the fair and, and visit with people in town. And it's such a nice venue, the Vista Grande out there, very spacious. You can move around easily. Plus, the parking is pretty nice as well. Yep, it is. It's really an easy location to get to. Um, definitely um, friendly for anybody that uh, may struggle a little bit with walking with a cane or anything like that. It's an easy location, easy place to get to. Um, we always enjoy coming out there, um, set, getting set up early in the morning, and just being ready to visit with everyone. Um, when the lab will be there right at 8 o'clock in the morning, so if you are fasting, you can stop by right away in the morning and then turn around and get breakfast if you'd like to. Um, so feel free to come on out. We will take a cash or check for some of the lab services, okay. so uh, we don't do credit card, though. <laughs> okay. Now, you, of course, are with the foundation, and you're going to be there as well. What mm -hmm. do people need to know about the foundation? 
We are doing a lot of different things this year to raise money for different medical devices, and especially um, one of the things that we're raising money for right now is f for some lab or f um, imaging aprons, which help to protect from um, imaging radiation and things like that. So about a $10,000 project. We're also um, kicking off where um, we're getting some ORA equipment or some um, ortho equipment, I should say, to be able to help our orthopedic department then as well. Okay. Are you spreading the word on your social media about the Plus 50 Living Fair? I don't know. I'll have to check with our marketing yes, folks now. Yes, so sure they do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I do encourage everybody to stop out. You know, it's there really is something out there for everyone. All right. Well, we appreciate your time. We will certainly see you Tuesday. Maybe you can make your way over. I'm going to be broadcasting live and always enjoy visiting with you. Sounds good. Thanks, Thank Gary. You. The, the, the Dan Patrick Show. Dan Patrick. Yeah. I think it was last week that uh, Mike Greenberg on the Mothership talked about how good UConn is and that UConn could make the playoffs in the NBA. And he later backtracked after he realized that it was a silly comment and said he was just joking. So I wasn't joking when I reached out to DraftKings and I said, hey, let's come up with a betting line. This Connecticut team versus the Detroit Pistons. I'm going to let you guys decide what you think that